<laughs> it's gonna be a good trip, Alan. <laughs> so I have been challenged by the guys at Grit Overland. They uh, reached out after my comments on the last Overland Expo where I said, you don't need the fanciest, highest end of everything stuff to go out and enjoy in the woods. An old Jeep and a sleeping bag do you just fine. Well, I said, Casey, we make the highest end of the highest end in Overland vans, and we think if you try it, you'll like it. And being a fair guy, I'm game for anything and always up for a challenge. And since Grit also works with Yankum Ropes and outfits the Grit vans with Yankum gear, Alan was coming along on this one too, so he met me here at my house. We hopped in my truck to head up into the mountains for a three-day camping trip in the highest of highest end Overland vans to go see what it was all about for ourselves. And of course, since it's me and Alan and we're the two worst people about preparing for anything, we didn't prepare any food, any camping gear, anything like that. So we got to stop and do some shopping along the way. So this thing totally started this morning. Do I need a bike? Let's try and... Hey, can I borrow your jump pack? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right, what happened? I need a new truck. <laughs> Is that the problem? Forget the battery, just replace just the truck. Just replace the whole truck. <laughs> yeah, just... Just roadside assistance. <laughs> I need to get you one of those. The jump pack or? Yeah. Roadside assistance. <laughs> I got roadside assistance. <laughs> Mine does get grumpy every once in a while though. This is nasty, dirty. Go and swim and go yeah. Go and swim and go and swim and go and swim and go and swim. Don't swim, it's cold outside. If I'm going to the ocean. Okay. Go down to wherever you go. So, can I take that with me? No, because that's my jump starter. Okay. <laughs> What am I gonna do if you're out of town and my battery dies? Pick a rig. None of them work. Alan's is here now. Okay, if you give me your keys. No, my black truck is good to go. Your black truck? Yeah. It's hard to park downtown though. This is the same truck. Same They're literally the same truck, white yeah, and black. You have the hitch on the back. Yeah. You have the tow hitch. It in doesn't it. make a difference. They're the same truck, just white or black. Now I'm thinking about it, my jump pack didn't start at the last time either. So I'm thinking that jump pack might be no good. This is the uh, special. Do we have an affiliate code for that? Nope. Then I'm bleeping it out. <laughs> Alright, thanks babe. You're welcome. I'll pay you later. Okay. So in typical Casey and Ellen fashion, we are completely unprepared for this trip, so we made it to the last town. We're stopping at the grocery store to get food and then we gotta go to Buy Mart to get a sleeping bag. And so Pop Tarts first, yeah. then sleeping bag. Yeah. This is going off great. This, is, this whole start is just wonderful. <laughs> so what we've been told is that what dinner is provided yeah. both nights, but just we're on our own for breakfast and lunch. Right. First Pop Tarts up there. Sweet. No, we're, sure. we're camping. They have to get the s'mores ones. Yeah. Some strawberries. Oh, the OGs? Need a step stool over there? <laughs> the back. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit lower center of gravity. <laughs> uh, Weren't we just talking about center of gravity? <laughs> and your issue with it? <laughs> okay, yes. Listen, I got a problem. I understand. One time. What? Okay, I was in the vehicle both times, but it was my fault once. One time. One time. If we add up all the views on the videos of your Land Cruiser rolling over, how many times has that been seen? Too many. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh, pre-made sandwiches? Yeah. This is like peak lazy. I love it. Here's the deal. I'm fine with peak lazy for this, because I got a feeling we might be working. I hope so. Yeah, me too. So I'll keep lazy. Want some rolls? Of course. The good root beer. This is the good stuff. 
do we have an affiliate link for that? I'm blurring it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Henry Weinhardt Root Beer. If you want to not be blurred out in my videos, <laughs> is that how you pitch a sponsor? Yeah, that, that's definitely how you get uh, a good, good reaction, I think. <laughs> All I gotta say is it's a good thing we have wives. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure we are. <laughs> it's definitely two dudes. <laughs> okay. We good? I think we're good. Okay. Let's uh, let's go be judged by a cashier. Yes. <laughs> did you, did you clear out the whole thing of it's mayonnaise? Not all are you mayonnaise half half before you go camping? <laughs> we're half of that's mustard. We're getting sausages. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get some? We should leave. <laughs> See? Alan's a nice guy who puts the cart away. Even when it's way over there. But we got all the stuff that needs to be cold here in the EcoFlow fridge. And it's just sitting here in the back of the truck, not plugged in anything. It's running totally on its own. Um, I do have a power station to top it off here in a couple days once it needs and we'll see if the truck starts so we're at the other store now to get the last of our supplies and whatever we don't have when we leave this store we don't have for the next three days yep no pressure bring it down <laughs> I sleep in the I need, truck I need hiking boots caught those are the shoes you're wearing? Yep. Kay. This is going to be rough. Listen, here, here's the deal. If I don't pack the good boots, and if I don't pack the raincoat, then it's going to be really bad, and that's what we want. See, the recovery guys of this trip really want just the rainstorm, muddy mess disaster where all these vehicles are out in the woods. Not that we want anyone to get stuck. We, no. We do. Yes. But this is gonna just be because it's fun. Yeah, I, we have. I think we have a weird, weird version of fun. Probably a sick and twisted version of fun. But yeah, I think it's fun. I do. Yeah, Same. It's fun. The the worse it is, the better it is. Check check this thing out. It is. Oh man! A hammer, a hatchet, a screwdriver five types of knives, and I don't know what the handle's for. All in one. Good. This is ultimate multi-tool. Do you have a lighter or anything? Probably not. I've never gone camping with these guys. I'm getting old. I trust them. It should be good, but... <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Any other mixed with water meals? I think we're good on food. The cashier seemed impressed with what we got. <laughs> yeah, especially when she got to the Vienna sausage. So as we're driving out here through all the beautiful cow pastures, there's a whole group of cows that was on the wrong side of the fence here. We must be out in the woods. Yes, we're in the middle of nowhere now. Look, Look at this one's on the wrong side of the fence. He's just part of the highway department we control. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Uh, he's got a job. Yeah. <laughs> so our trip to the meetup spot up the mountain is uh, on hold for a second. So this here is the Four Horsemen Brothel. I did a recovery right here in the middle of the road this winter. But that, well, Four Horsemen Hotel was actually what it's called but it was a brothel. And then that right there is the remnants of the old mine building, or the mine processing plant that you can't see in the dark in the camera. But it's there. If you would like to see a tour of that, I'll put a link to the video of the recovery I did up here that then we went and walked through that whole thing. Why does that say road closed? Well. Huh. Going on an adventure. That sign says detour. But uh, does Google Maps with no phone service know the detour? 
<laughs> this is going very well, right off the bat. Yes. <laughs> At least we got okay. food. Hopefully there's plenty of uh, detour signs where we're going. <laughs> yeah, it looks exactly like what we get. Did you bring a sleeping bag? Yes. Sweet. Okay. All right. We're fine. <laughs> Okay, update, uh, we're lost. We're now turning around and backtracking because we've run into nothing but dead ends. So, we're supposed to be staying in like some super fancy, as good as it gets, most high end of the high end, like the cream of the crop camper vans. Might be under the stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we have to find it first. Hey, I'm having fun. I'm getting tired though. I'm ready to lay down. Having fun for now. For now. So you know the problem? What? We wanted a complete disaster, like thinking rainstorm all that. Like the disaster is we are the ones who are screwed and lost. Not everyone else. Yeah. We didn't specify that. Yeah, I gotta specify the disaster you want. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Okay, we'll update later. <laughs> we are in like the middle, middle of nowhere in the woods. I don't know who that is, but they're in a hurry. They have no tail lights. Weird. You think that's on purpose or <laughs> on accident? Because we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Could yeah. be either one. Where I'm from, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. And where, where <laughs> I'm from in the Emerald Triangle, yeah. if someone with no tail lights or like that in the woods, it's, it's on purpose. Yeah. Let's uh, keep moving. So, it's a long time later. We're still driving for service roads and we just saw a sign that said, keep going the way we're going. It's 47 miles back to where we came from. <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the map is worthless at this point because I didn't I didn't download an offline map before we came up here because I had a pin drop. It was fine. We're just following the signs. We're, the if we, signs. we're in the forest, so if we see a sign that points some way, something must be out there. Yeah. So, well, that's the update. Hopefully there's another one. <laughs> yeah. hopefully, you, hopefully you see this video. <laughs> If you see this video, it was either from us or somebody who found it. Hopefully it's from us. Yeah, if, the, if this video is titled, The Lost Footage. <laughs> we have found vans. <laughs> we never, did it! <laughs> I've never been so excited to see vans in the middle of nowhere. Wait. <laughs> Here we go. Holy crap, we actually did it. We have a place to stay. <laughs> so we have good news and we have bad news. The good news is... This is the van group we we're supposed to find. It's, we made it to the spot. Yeah. The bad news is we're not the only ones who got lost uh, by that road closed detour. And one of the vans that is lost is the ones we we're supposed to sleep in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we don't have a bed. <laughs> uh, maybe the truck. Yeah. It won't be the, it's not the first time, not the last time. No. So yeah, hopefully <coughs> our van shows up at some point, but we made it to where we're supposed to go, so that's good. That's a beautiful spot. Yeah. I wish you guys could see it. Yeah, it'd be nice if you guys could see. That's the moon, and there's a whole lot more beautiful stars, but you can't see them. So we're going to hang out with the van people and hope our bed shows up. Otherwise, I'm going to be sleeping sitting up. <laughs> so Alan's gone into survival mode and is building a fire. Hey, so that we don't freeze. Bring right. up <laughs> he lasted a whole 10 minutes. So, uh, all the other vans showed up. So everybody else finally made it. That's a lot. Okay. I'll get all my stuff out and throw it in uh, in Jake's van, but um, as long as Casey falls asleep before I do, then we'll both be in here tonight. Because you can, you strongly can. <laughs> <care of. laughs>
Sorry. You didn't mention that <laughs> until just now. Well, I was, it's on purpose. You wouldn't have said yes. <laughs> Earplugs. <laughs> You're prepared. <laughs> um, so, let me just show you the controls real quick, because I don't think either of you have seen this stuff, what you may or may want, not want to use tonight. Oh, you got like full-on screens and... Yeah, totally. So you've got... <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said the fancy of the fancy. Yeah, no, this is the nice one. This is the nicest of but the nice. But still, keep it, keep it rugged. So, electrical stuff. If you want to turn the inverter on to like charge phones overnight or anything, it's on now, which is fine. You just leave it on all night. You're not running the AC, so you've got... It says AC like, too? Yeah. Yeah, but what if... It'll run off inverter? Air yeah, man. for 11 hours. Really? Yeah. So That's you'll impressive. have 11 hour run time, and then we actually do an auto start that will, um, when it gets to 30%, will automatically kick the motor on. Oh, high. and charge it off the vehicle engine. Exactly. High idle for 60 minutes. Bring it from like 30% to 94%, and then turn it back off. You won't need that tonight. The AC no, I, I think we're good without the AC on this third degree <laughs> night. <laughs> exactly. Uh, pop top wise. You want top bunk or bottom bunk? Oh, so this this has a another room up there. Yep. Oh. In case you haven't noticed, I have no idea what I was getting into. <laughs> Alan just said we're going, so I came. Which is awesome. <laughs> I didn't ask any questions. You're so trusting, Casey. Holy crap! I, know. Oh. I didn't ask any questions. I was just like, okay, let's go. Wow. You, you're inviting me out in the middle of the woods. Where a, bunch of, where a bunch of strangers said we could sleep in their van? Yep. Okay, that sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> the guy with the solid mustache says, let's go to the woods together. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Uh... <laughs> Wait till you meet David. <laughs> True. So you got lights up here. Oh, wow. There isn't a heater, so hopefully your sleeping bag's warm. Oh, some of the heat will come yeah. up from the, the heater down here. Um, and then if you... The max fan is up there, so you turn that fan on low, and it'll just should draw nice draw heat up. Yeah. Okay. Um, it'll still be a little chilly. I've had it down to 21 degrees with an electric blanket, and that was pretty nice. So it should be good tonight. Okay. Is he still selling? Yep. Doing yeah. demo? He, he's pitching hard right now. <laughs> I'm just ex I'm explaining stuff. Oh, Don't know how to use it. Right. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Nope. That is Chevy Silverado. Oh, nope. That's somebody else. That's a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> Would not recommend. That is a little car. The things you see in the absolute middle of nowhere. What are you doing now? Right? Heaters on. Sweet. If you guys get crazy and want to shower together, that... there's a shower in here? Oh, yeah, dude. What? The water will be nice and warm in the morning. The heater's running all night. Shower's in here. Dan will come show the you. Toilet's in here. I'll show you how to use it. Yeah. It's like a first timer experience. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So awesome. <laughs> so kind. Uh, it just happens you'll be standing outside. Five star treatment. Yeah. You guys pay extra for the tucking service. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you how to use this bed. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Holy cow. He is actually showing us. <laughs> no. You actually have the mattress and then you, whoever's sleeping on the bottom has got Princess in the P mattress topper too. Hey, now it's going to be warm tonight. So we can roll the windows up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, cool. look at this. Tell me that wasn't done on purpose. They staged that. Okay, yeah, maybe. Well, what was sitting right, right up front? <laughs> that was so staged. Product placement. <laughs> Wait. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Top or bottom? Uh, I'll take top tonight. Okay. I'm gonna start grabbing down. Yeah. So I'm up here in the treehouse. I'm sleeping up top tonight. It is very nice up here. I got my own fan. And then Alan is uh, down there in his comfy bed. And we got a microwave. Is there a stove top in here somewhere? I don't think so. And then, so there's all our groceries that we got judged for buying earlier. 
This thing is nice. It's very nice. Okay, see you in the morning. I'm see tired. you in the morning. Good night. So it's the next morning and Alan must have slept really good because he didn't snore one bit. <laughs> and there's a lot more, a lot more vans showed up. So apparently we weren't the only ones wandering around the woods last night trying to find this place. Yeah, we're pretty deep in here. Yeah, we're really deep in here. So it starts out with the creek crossing right there and then going up and camping out on a peak. Yeah. Somewhere. That's what I've heard. I don't know where we're going. We're following a bunch of people with vans. And Alan's down. driving one. He's driving the one we stayed in, which I guess I could show you it in the daylight. This is where we stayed, was in this van last night. I stayed up top. That top raises up. Alan had the, the fancy bed in the... Right there. These things are super, super fancy. We got microwave, convection oven. Um, yeah. It's nice. It's got a nice little fart vent up there, too. Awesome. Yeah. No, this is great. Damn. It's gonna be a good trip, Alan. Damn. <laughs> oh. This has me questioning everything. Hey. hey. You know what we've learned so far this morning? What? You can jump these. Hey! <laughs> So everyone else is going a little slower through the creek. We're heading out, starting the uh, trail ride. You got the whole line of vans coming down through the creek. We got guys who actually know how to use cameras, doing real camera stuff. And I'm gonna go hop in my pickup and I'm gonna follow Alan, who's in the last van. Um, Cause we're the back of the bus kids today. And we're gonna head up the mountain. So I'm staying along towards the back. I could have been in the other van with Alan and we both take that van and just do this whole adventure in that, but I would much rather have my pickup with me. So I'm driving my pickup and then me and Alan will probably switch off a couple times. I'll drive the van, he'll drive this. And then we're camping up on top of one of the big peaks out here. I'm not exactly sure which one. So we'll just keep following the vans and see where we end up. I'm in the van with Alan and Dan now, and we're going hill climbing. Dan owns the vans, and uh, I don't know if Dan has heard of Alan's issues with centers of gravity, but... I haven't told him. Did you tell him? He might find out on his own. <laughs> That's great. Nice. <laughs> you haven't watched any of these videos where I've rolled stuff? No, I haven't. <laughs> Well, we should be fine. Is this thing top heavy? No, not even a little bit. We're fine. <laughs> it's only 10 and a half feet tall. What does it weigh? Uh, 8,000 pounds off the line. Well, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it'd be. No, not at all. We built super light because of all the aluminum. Yeah. So it's like pretty, it's like a thousand pounds less than our next competitor. I'd also like to point out that we just walked completely up that hill having a conversation like it was no big deal. That was awesome. Like, no problem. All wheel drive, right? Oh yeah. Or is it, is it an all wheel or four wheel lock set? All wheel. Okay. Yeah. Well. I didn't roll it. That's what they don't do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we compare cameras? Yeah, let's see. What do you got? iPhone. Uh. Not an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the professionals. <laughs> you can run down and they can drive down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the hill we just went up. Now everyone's coming back down. And I walked down to film. Here's Alan. Lean with it. Lean with it. Hit the three wheel. I should go catch my ride. Okay, so I was goofing no, I around a little again. bit, but I 
I am surprised at how planted that was. Oh, all your tires are on the ground. I was no expecting problem. to like lean a little bit. You should have gone faster. <laughs> I'm not sure I feel about it. <laughs> he is second. Like I'm this whole decided. offer for us to drive one of his vans, he's second guessing every bit of that oh, right now. No Let's way. See. No, that's good. That's what we do, man. Try to break it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you are talking to the wrong two guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're back out moving again. We split the group into two parts. There's one's going to take an easier route and one's going to take a little rougher route. I'm running uh, the tail gunner for the uh, rougher route one. Make sure it makes it do no problem. And it is just a freaking beautiful area up here. It is so nice here. How ironic would it be if Alan is the one who buries one of these things? Especially if it's not on purpose. Okay, so we got a good puddle here, so the camera guys, the real ones, they're getting set up to get the shot of this one coming through. Whew. Which way are you going from? Us? Yeah. This pretty much going to start here. That puddle there is like more of the deeper one that's going to splash Okay. a little bit more. Where are you going to film from? Probably around the side right there. to the front and to the right. Okay. I'll stay behind this where I don't get out in your shot and film it from like going right here. See if Alan's any gentler. <laughs> so we got a little bit of a step right here to come down where it's washed out. Uh, right here. Yeah, I think there. coming that side down would be best not to yeah. bottom out on the... Yeah, exactly. Might get a little free wheel action in here. That'd be nice. So everybody made it through no problem. The only one issue with this whole deal is that my truck is all the way back over there in those trees. So we'll go for a walk. And we're off again. I have to go play catch up now. This is what trying to run a business from the middle of the wilderness looks like. I got 15 minutes to send out a text. I've been doing this for five. <laughs> Maybe like 10 feet over there would get better service. Wait, you want to back up? Yep. Yep, we stopped here for a second. Alan was trying to get a message out. Oh, yeah! Pictures. It did it! It did it! That's all we had to do. Just 10 feet. How did you know yep, that? Good. You... I, I know everything. <laughs> I got a few people here about two minutes away from the 
No kidding, that's why. Doubt me again. <laughs> I didn't doubt you. <laughs> yeah, like, it worked. Me? It worked. So we just stopped here at this uh, gravel pit player to play around, get all the vans back together. And then we did a couple recovery demonstrations with some Yankum gear. We used the uh, one inch, the rattler, yep. to do a kinetic recovery of Alex's van here. And then we did a, a winch recovery up the hill over there using the multi-part uh, recovery ring setup. You think you get mad if I got my drone and just, without announcing it, started an air-to-air -air dog fight? Oh yeah, bumper cars. Yeah. So hey, just bring your van over here, Dan. Oh, throw everything in it. Good job getting stuck and unstuck. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> so now we're gonna get everything back together and head up to our campsite for the night. Hey, I think it's lunchtime, Casey. Oh, I ate lunch already on the way up here. <laughs> I haven't had anything to eat. So there's already a sandwich missing out of there. Sweet. There's another one though, right? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Should we have a celebratory root beer for our awesome recovery demonstrations? Yes. The uh, Henry Art Gourmet. Still no affiliate link. So that company, I'm going to show it just for like a split second. There it is. If you guys don't want to be blurred out on my channel anymore. <laughs> That's totally how to get sponsorships, right? How many, how many times has Henry Weinhardt's been uh, been shown on your channel so far? Not as much as on Ben's channel. Oh my gosh. I still feel bad. So ben, I'm sorry. Yeah, Ben invited Alan and the whole Yankum crew over for like a, a barbecue. Ben loves him some Henry Weinhardt's. They drank all of it, every bit that he had. And Ben was very upset when was, he didn't have any for himself. It was a total party foul. We yeah. ruined root beer floats. Yes. Absolutely yep. ruined the night. Oh. So, anyways, I've got some more, uh, Ben, if you're watching, I've got some more root beer on its way. It's only been saying that for two years. I don't think I'll ever be. <laughs> I had to pull over and show you guys this. Snow. First time I've seen some snow this year. All right, let's go catch up. made it to the top and there's a there's definitely definitely a view from up here got all the vans circled over there on the peak the truck parked off to the side but yeah view in every direction 360 degrees sun setting over there today well every day because that's the west um yeah quite the view not bad alan not bad wow 360 degree view all the way around from up here got a couple lakes down there you got one guy with a pivot down there Maybe he's got a few other fields. Wow. I can see some, some Cascade Peaks way out there on the horizon. Lewis and Clark on the drive over. Hey Jake, I will admit, the van life ain't so bad. It's not. It's a little overlandy for me still, but it's not bad. True. More capable than you thought they were? They are. Yeah, they, they did better than I thought they would do in like the off-road type of stuff. The out the other day. <laughs> I don't watch Matt's videos, come on. <laughs> I don't watch anybody's videos to be fair. I, I actually don't like watching YouTube. But. Is yours? 
I don't even watch yeah. mine. <laughs> Come on. That's why there's so many mistakes in them because I don't watch through after I edit them to correct it. You don't have time. The it's first time I know there's a mistake is when people start commenting about it. You get the trolls hitting you. Yeah. yeah. But it's okay because the comments just boot the algorithm. So if there was a mistake, why fix it? <laughs> yeah, the van is nice. It is more capable than I thought they'd be. Alan likes it too. If I hold it like this, do you think Hannah will give us a call? I'm still bleeping that out because they haven't sponsored my video yet. Granted, we are still in the woods and they haven't had a chance to like see this video because I haven't made it yet, but still. Best, best stuff in the world. The cream soda one. The cream soda. Yeah, the cream soda is really good. The orange cream soda. Love that one too. What are we having? We're making up some uh, street tacos, chicken and steak, man. Street tacos as far away from the street as we could possibly get. Yep. It's the beauty of van life. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. I mean, it's kind of like a rooftop tent without sides. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> Forgot how to open the top. Like that. Like that. And then then what? We're trying this without directions for the first time, so. Okay. I think you just push up. That's what I think so too. I hope so. It's just that easy. That seems successful. So these vans are really nice. Um, if you want to like travel and still be able to go out somewhere in the woods and also still be able to park like reasonably around town and stuff like that, this would be the way to go. This is awesome. Oh you, yeah. You gotta figure it out? I think so. <laughs> you know it's, what I think is cool? I just, I didn't, I didn't know that they were this capable. I didn't either. I was surprised today with some of the stuff they did. All right, we had a hard time getting them stuck. Yeah, so we purposely got two of them stuck today to recover them, do like a recovery demonstration. For everyone that always says I staged my videos, now, yes. Yes. No, because I didn't film it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I, what I like about these is just how well, how much grip they have, how comfortable that they are, and then once they're kitted out with everything that they need, with the winch on the front, kinetic recovery. I mean, of course he says kinetic recovery. Yeah, kinetic gear. recovery. I <laughs> plug. Shameless plug. But I mean, you could you could go accomplish some pretty impressive stuff. Well, yeah, we're on a seven thousand foot peak right now. Yeah. Like I no mean, problem. So I'm getting the point of the van life thing, yeah. where you want to be able to cruise eighty mile an hour across the country comfortably yeah. this will do it on a dirt road It'll, oh yeah you experienced it on yeah. yeah so i couldn't keep up with them in the truck you guys like disappeared oh my gosh holy crap dan dan was driving I and then was die. uh it's funny after the next stop alan rode with me the rest of the way <laughs> so fast but they they like yeah you can like cruise down the highway at full highway speed comfortable as can be cruise around the forest service roads actually do some decent off-road stuff Depending on it, because there's different levels of build here. Yeah. And when we say deep and off-road, it's like... Forest service, and then like, but you run into like a little washout. No big deal. Yeah. You run into a thing here, like a mud puddle and stuff, no big deal. Yeah. Make, make sure you you know where, how deep that mud puddle is and what's in the bottom of it yeah. and stuff like that. But they're more capable than I thought they would be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you got all the comfort of staying in, and they're still small enough to like park in town at a restaurant something like that yeah that's my bed tonight so yeah you can don't even worry about it almost a queen size memory foam really comfortable i slept like a baby last night yeah this was great so i i i i walk away from this with a changed mind yeah i get it i i'm I, getting it i get it now these ones specifically are really expensive really nice. yes really expensive but these are not the kia of vans these are the ferrari of vans so well and i i think what's nice about it too is just how everything all the plumbing all the electrical everything just works well and their electrical system with the auto start and the uh -huh. ac system that'll run all day long with no no power and well i got van life buddies that i mean they're constantly fussing over just the the utilities of, of and so their... on this whole trip 
has one of these vans had a single issue? Uh-uh. Nope. We're filming a video. Go away. You're ruining it. There's a freaking orange moon over there, though. It's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. But yeah, these are like, these are really expensive, but the fit and finish and the technology on these and the build quality is Ferrari, not yeah. Kia. And that's what they're meant to be. Like I said, not one of the vans here has had an issue with utility stuff on this whole trip. What I, this, 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 the creature comfort, the level of build quality, the level of build quality, the fit and finish, all of that stuff. This is, this is for the, the people that are going to write a check, not look at the number and say, I want this to work and just work. Yeah. The, the grit, the grit it. vans are not, um, budget friendly. No. Therefore the clientele who wants the best and is not worried about what it costs. Yeah. So if you, if, if you're Which in that Which means group, this is the only time me and Alan are going to be <laughs> cruising around in one. <laughs> yeah. Or unless, the, well, hopefully they invite us back, but this is fun. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. We got one more night to ruin this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it's, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm like, it, it's, it's, it's amazing to me how the van life has gotten so intense. This is such a rabid cult and I get it. I actually, like, I, it. like, so before this trip, I'm like, if I want to go in the woods, I take the Jeep, I take the mm -hmm. truck, whatever. And I can go in the woods and go camp, whatever. You pitch your tent. If I want to go, you know, like family travel and trip and not have to get hotels and all that stuff like i have my rv that's right. what that is for is long trips not getting hotels family type of thing but are you gonna but bring like, your rv up here but it's like this can do both at once yeah yeah we're not gonna rock crawl and it's not as big inside and all that as the rv but i can also we can go park at a restaurant my rv can't yep you know like so i, I get this. the middle ground this covers and for i get i get where this would be really handy mm -hmm. i say it's a win yeah has it 100% changed my mind about the entire overland scene? <laughs> but I get it to a degree. <laughs> yeah. This is this is awesome. Yeah. Grit. Wow, you guys make a good yeah. good band. Thank you for inviting us out. Um, we're going to go get some dinner because it looks like it's done. Yeah, there, it's, uh, we're saying thank you on the camera to the guys who are cooking us dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> While we sit in the heater. Yeah. Their difficult. heater. Yeah, their heater. So, yeah, thank you to the Grit guys. Um... We'll put a link for Grit. Oh, this isn't like sponsored in any way thing, but I'll put a link to Grit uh, deal down there so you can go check it out. Yeah, go go um, look at some. There's some high end stuff, stuff. and uh, we're gonna go enjoy the evening. And then Alan hopefully is gonna sleep up there because I'm sleeping there. <laughs> See you later. Night.